So today, we don't just consume media. We all know this. We are now reacting, discussing, participating, creating media. And the internet is growing a lot, but the portals where you were spending all your money doing heat shield advertising against bad microsites is not growing. So what is growing? All these conversational sites are popping up everywhere, but it's like water. Trying to get your arms around that as a brand is very difficult. You need something to make it all make sense and bring it together in a fluid portfolio based on what your needs are. So conversational media is very big. We've been working with Comscore, which was doing not a very good job of measuring all those new kinds of sites, though it did a very good job of measuring AOL. Um, uh, as of Q3, it was three quarters of a billion people using these new kinds of sites. Uh, as of Q4, the new numbers are 900 million. So it is a very large market, very dis disparate though, very difficult to get around. How do you do that? The reason this happened, I argue, is search. Search has completely blown up the approach to how people find content. People now find content that works exactly for what they're looking for. Um, and that has messed up all of us in terms of how we market, right? used to be that the way we marketed, say we were Mitsubishi, is we created a beautiful $10 million, you know, Crispin or some large agency created homepage that lets you spin the Lancer around and make it any color and put new wheels on it and stuff like that, and that's super cool. And then you bought all your heat shield inventory from Yahoo, Microsoft, and so on, and you pushed it at that thing and it bounced off, right? And that was the, that was the approach that still taken a lot today. But uh, I argue that the homepage today is this. Right? This is what people do when they're looking for the Mitsubishi Lancer. They put in the Lancer Evolution, and if you look at the arrows here, the green arrows are conversational sites, blogs, forums, Wikipedia pages about this brand. Right? The only place where the brand has control is the red arrows. Right? That's where your corporate homepage is. And if I'm a consumer, which arrows am I trusting? I'm probably going to check out the green ones before I trust the red ones. Right? So that's where we are. So does this create an opportunity for College in? I think yes. However, who wants to talk about broth? <laughs> it turns out I asked my wife, who's a total foodie cook person, who is exactly in your target market, right? Chief household officer. And I said, What do you think of collagen? And she said, That's the one that's not Swanson's, right? Let's fix that. Okay, when you go to Google and you put in best chicken broth, collagen isn't there, okay? Swanson's is. I don't know why. Well, I could tell you. I wrote a book about it, but in general, <laughs> it should be there. How do we get there, okay? And let's go over to Twitter and ask about soup. There are hundreds of people talking about soup. Literally, like, minute, like every half a minute, there's a soup tweet, okay? <laughs> There is a, there's a stockpile of fuel of conversation about soup and broth and cooking happening on Twitter, on Facebook, all over the web, right? Here is recipes, but hundreds and hundreds of tweets an hour about recipes, and lots of those recipes include broth, right? But where's collagen? Collagen should be in that conversation, and it's not. You know, here is chicken broth. On Twitter, there's literally hundreds of tweets about chicken broth, okay? It, chicken broth is, is absolutely fascinating. It's sort of like sausage. You don't want to see it get made, but it's fascinating at the end. <laughs> so when you go to broth recipes or something like that on Google and you see that Swanson's buying Google ads over here and Swanson's got uh, organic mojo as well, we want to get collagen into that conversation. Here is your Mitsubishi Lancer homepage. Okay, static. It's a bit static. It's like a building that's no, there's no humans in it. Right? It's, there it is. It's got some recipes. They're good recipes. I checked them out, right? I showed Michelle, that's my wife, this site, and she's like, oh, that's, I could use that recipe, right? But basically, there's so much more out there on the web, and you can't reboil that ocean by going and building hundreds of thousands of recipes on your own site, right? That approach isn't the way you want to do it. Instead, you want to curate the whole social web and make value. So, hey, college in. Let's join the conversation. This is how we approach it at FM. Take everything out there in the rest of the web, everything, and see it as fuel for bringing some value together and creating a publishing platform that you underwrite with your brand, right? It's all out there. Make it make sense and curate it for people who absolutely love to cook and love soup and love to make broth and love to make their food better using broth. 
Find the leaders in the discussion around this topic that are in your target market, chief household officers. Engage with them, listen to them for a while, ask them what they need. They will tell you. Develop a publishing programming leveraging them and their audiences that creates a valuable platform that is an ongoing media annuity uh, that you are responsible for creating and your brand accrues value for underwriting that community. That's publishing. So you own soup and it goes viral, right? And I don't mean that like, let's go get a viral video. I mean, if you actually add value by curating content around something people care about, they'll tell their friends and their friends will tell their friends and we'll use Seth's company to help more friends tell more friends about this. So I'm actually saying we should partner together with Seth. We should partner with everybody here, as a matter of fact. That's kind of FM, we're Switzerland. I went out and looked for these people. They're there. These are just the folks that we happen to work with. Um, but the fact is, is that we work with anybody. We have a very fluid portfolio, whatever works. We'll go help you work. We'll be an agency on the behalf of the publishers out there that make amazing stuff that relates to your target market. Apartment Therapy, a very large site that we just signed, has a huge kitchen area where they talk about making soup and other things related to soup and, and broth-driven uh, dishes and so on. Pioneer Woman Cooks is an amazing site. Check it out. Um, and on and on and on. So bring them together and create a platform. Curate this and create a, a conversation that adds value to a community that is passionate about a particular topic, in this case, cooking. 